All right, so this video is gonna be seven Amazon remote jobs that you can actually land in 2024 and beyond. So Amazon is a company that is so big that it has more employees than the population of countries. For instance, it has more employees than the entire population of the Bahamas, Barbados, and St. Lucia put together. And as you can imagine, a company that's bigger than many countries put together has a lot of open positions. And not all of them are the ones you hear about on the news where people are working in factories and they don't even have enough time for a bathroom break. Many of them are actually remote. So if you're the type of person who's not afraid to work at a giant company and you want to work hard, there are a ton of opportunities out there for you. And I actually spent dozens of hours researching this and I compiled a list of seven of the absolute best jobs available. And the research I did for this video is 100 pages of the absolute best data that's available on the internet. And if you appreciate me doing all this hard work, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be virtual customer care advisor. And this is where you can be the remedy to a patient's medication woes without ever Ever having to leave the couch. And this is basically where you'd be providing essential support to Amazon pharmacy customers. And yes, Amazon does actually have a pharmacy. And in this position, you can basically be a digital pharmacy helper. And in this position, you'd probably make between 36 to $49,000 a year. And to start, you can visit the Amazon website. You can also type in on Google Amazon jobs. Then on the Amazon website, you can search for virtual customer care advisor. Amazon Pharmacy. Then you click the actual job offer, you look at the requirements, and if everything checks out, then go ahead and click apply now. I do think this is a good one to get your foot in the door in the medical industry if you wanna work in a different medical job down the line. It's also a great way to get a well-respected company on your resume. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a selling partner support associate. And if you didn't know, Amazon basically partners with independent merchants in what's known as the Amazon FBA program or the Amazon Fulfillment by Amazon program and also other programs on Amazon where they're selling eBooks, etc. But they partner with these individuals and then a merchant gets a percentage of the profit and Amazon gets a percentage as well. And in this position, you'd basically be providing support to the merchants that Amazon partners with. So Amazon obviously takes care of the logistics, delivery, and the storage, but the the merchant typically takes care of the selection of the product, the sourcing of the product, and the marketing. And this is a really good partnership that benefits both sides, but as with any partnership, you're gonna need some communication. And that's where a selling partner support associate comes in. And in this position, you can make about 52 to $90,000 a year. So it actually pays really well. And you basically get a unique opportunity to work with these sellers and directly impact their success and Amazon success as well. This role does require strong communication, the ability to adapt to constant changes in the e-commerce landscape, and the ability to solve problems. So I definitely like this one. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, when Amazon partners with merchants and then they split the profit, that's what's known as a platform business model. And this is the same exact business model that YouTube uses as well. YouTube knows that on their own as a company, there's no way that they would be able to create the best content out there. However, if they partner with users and then let the users use their own creativity to create content, they know that good content is going to get populated and it's going to rise to the top. And that's exactly what's happened with my channel and hundreds of thousands of of other channels. For instance, this is one of my students that just said they're making about $35,000 in profit. And if you wanna know exactly how I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna be holding a live event on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, where you can ask me any questions you have on how to grow and make money on YouTube. And I'm gonna be revealing my biggest secrets on how to do it as well. So definitely attend that. It'll be down in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be an e-commerce marketing coordinator. This is basically a position where you're a mastermind of selling physical products online. And in this position, you would get to navigate the wild world of online sales, armed with spreadsheets and a whole lot of creativity. And this basically involves strategizing and executing marketing campaigns. And this is designed to boost sales for the Amazon platform. And an interesting fact is the first online retail transaction was actually made by English entrepreneur Michael Aldridge, and it was in 1979. And this paved a way for the e-commerce revolution of buying and selling stuff online that we all know today. And in this position, you can make about 47 to $69,000 a year. Now, some pros of this one are you have an opportunity to work remote. In fact, most jobs are going to be remote. And you also get to shape the online shopping experience for millions worldwide. So you get a lot of experience when it comes to e-commerce. The con here is you have a lot of pressure to meet sales targets and you need to navigate the ever-changing landscape of digital marketing. Now, I often recommend digital marketing jobs on this channel. I've interviewed a bunch of people just 
like Orlando, who was able to land a $70,000 a year remote digital marketing job while he was working as an actor in Los Angeles. And if you wanna check out the course that Orlando took in order to land this job, there's actually a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. But yeah, I really like marketing jobs. They're relatively chill usually. You learn a lot of valuable skills from them and there's tons of opportunities in the future that you can go into. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be customer experience case management. And this is where you'll be handling complex cases such as warranty support, compliance, and right to repair laws. And this is done through end-to-end -end case management and program level support. And in this position, you make about forty-two dollars to $62,000 a year. So this is a bit higher than your average customer support role. And it's also just gonna be a little different in general because you're more focused on shaping the entire customer journey on a company-wide level. So this is kind of like focusing more on strategy rather than tactics. So pros here are you get a lot of experience shaping the customer journey. You also get to resolve complex issues. So if you're a problem solver, you might enjoy this and you're gonna help foster deep loyalty and satisfaction. Cons here is there is an emotional toll of dealing with challenging issues and it requires resilience and empathy in order to deal with angry clients all day long. But overall, I do like this one. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a product lister. And this is somebody who's responsible for creating and optimizing product listings on Amazon itself. And this is done to maximize sales and brand visibility. And product listing optimization has been incredibly important for e-commerce even in the early days. And you can work both for Amazon themselves or you can work for a merchant that partners with Amazon. And in this position, if you get really good at it, you can make about 73 dollars to $134,000 a year. So this is a very interesting position because it's copywriting because you're gonna be writing the copy that's gonna go on the marketing for the product, but it's copywriting in a very specific way because it is for a physical product. And then also you're combining that copywriting skill with the images you're going to present as well. And another very important thing is you need to make sure that the brand itself shines through in all of the different product listings. So it's a very interesting position. And if you can get good at this, you can make really good money. And that's why they pay 73 to $134,000 a year. So some pros here are you get to gain valuable experience in e-commerce. You get to contribute to the success of Amazon sellers and you get to enjoy the flexibility of remote work. Some cons are it does require meticulous attention to detail. It is very repetitive and it's challenging keeping up with constantly evolving e-commerce trends. But overall, I'm giving this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Again, if you want to learn digital marketing, link is in the description in the pinned comment below because this is a type of digital marketing. Next is going to be a retention specialist. This is somebody who's responsible for implementing and developing strategies to retain customers, right? So customers that have already made purchases on the Amazon platform, they basically develop strategies to get those customers to keep making purchases and make more purchases. And this is designed to increase what's known as the LTV or lifetime value of a customer, which is an incredibly important metric to know as a business owner. And there's a really good quote that your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. So when you have a really unhappy customer, that's a really good opportunity for you to learn what you're doing wrong and how you can get better at it. So every time you have to deal with a Karen, you should thank them. And another interesting fact here is the concept of customer retention actually dates back to ancient Mesopotamia, where merchants used clay tablets to track loyal customers. And honestly, the more I learn about ancient Mesopotamia, the more I realize that they had a lot of things figured out a long time ago. And retention specialists make about 54 to $86,000 a year. So it's a really well-paying job. So if you can get good at this, this one, it can pay really well. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an Amazon pay-per-click specialist or also known as an Amazon PPC specialist. And PPC or pay-per-click is basically where you run ads on Amazon and you pay every single time someone clicks on the ad. So this is important. You don't pay every single time someone buys something or every single time the ad is shown, you pay every single time that someone clicks on it. And that subtle difference makes a massive difference in how you market the products. Now, now, Amazon pay-per-click specialists make about forty-six to seventy-three thousand dollars a year. So this one actually does pay really well, and it's a very valuable skill set to know overall. And many companies actually rely on pay-per-click in order to make their sales. And in many cases, they may not rely on pay-per-click all the time, but when they first launch products, they use pay-per-click to get those initial sales as well as customer ratings. So this one can be really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight point five out of ten opportunity score. So the Amazon ecosystem honestly has a ton of different jobs available, but if you want to go outside of the Amazon ecosystem, I did make a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.